Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this video, we're going to look at some of the upcoming features for Windows 11 that Microsoft is working on through the dev channel. Actually, in this video, I want to highlight two features that Microsoft did not mention on Windows 11 build 26120 that 1542. And those are the new advanced camera configuration settings and the interface changes for the deliver optimization settings. These features are not tied to any specific release of Windows, so it isn't clear when they will be available. Okay, let's dive into the new features that could be part of Windows 11. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. Okay, first, I want to show you the advanced camera settings. And to do that, I'm just going to open the settings app and that particular feature is available through the device and Bluetooth section, more specifically on the camera settings. And you have to have a camera connected to your computer. In this case, I previously connected my phone to use it as a webcam and the settings are still here. And you're going to notice that on this page, now there is a new advanced camera configuration setting. And when you click the edit button, you will now have two options, the multi-app camera and the camera basic mode. If we base on the description, the multi-app camera feature allows you to stream the same camera across multiple apps. Usually there's a feature that streamers will need and sometimes they have to use different software just to do that. On the other hand, the uh, camera basic mode is a feature that enables the camera to be used in debugging mode to troubleshoot problems. Now, if you want to connect multiple apps to the same video stream using the same camera, just turn on the toggle switch and click the apply button. Now, if you want to use the debugging mode with this option, you can turn off this feature. However, if you turn on the camera basic mode, it will actually turn that on and grade out that feature. Once you're done, you can click apply and then you should be able to connect those apps to the video stream. However, once you turn on this feature, you can only change the settings such as brightness through this page right here. Now, if we go to Windows Update and then we go to Advanced Options, and then if we open the Delivery Optimization page, we're going to find that this setting has been updated and the options are now grouped into this one page. Before you needed to click on each option, and that will take you to a different page, but now we can access the download options right here on the page, and you can control the same settings, it's just the design has changed. So this is the new design for the download options, and then if we click Upload Options, you can still control the same settings as before, and if we go to Activity Monitor, you can see the download and upload usage. Now, because these are hidden features, you have to enable them manually. And for that, you need to download the Byte tool. You can use this page and you need to download the latest version available. Then when you extract the file, you will need to open command prompt and then just open the folder where you extracted the Byte tools. And then for the advanced camera settings configuration, you have to run this command. And if you want to enable the new design changes for delivery optimization, you have to use this command. Once you run these commands, you just need to restart the settings app, and then you should be able to access the new settings. And that's it. Those are the uh, two features that I wanted to highlight on this video. Remember to leave your comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.